Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about several applications that are absolutely free and they will allow you uninstall or freeze any of your system applications and not only system applications without any PC or without root rights. So before starting watching this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe with notifications. Let's go. So now a little bit pre-story. So basically, as you know, on any Android phone, we have several system or maybe not even several, uh, a dozen maybe even, system applications that are, we don't use them a lot. So I, I'm going to show you uh, on the example of radio and tips. These are the applications that I never use uh, in my life. So basically, if we go into, for example, radio, you won't see here any kind of uninstall or anything like that because your phone and Android system won't allow you to modify or do anything with your system applications. But these two uh, apps, what, what I am going to tell you in this video, which is called Shizuku and Icebox. They are absolutely amazing, free, and you can download it, download them by links that I will look, that I will leave in my description box so you can follow by them and just go into Play Store and download it absolutely for free. You can look up some rating, you will see that uh, the ratings are very high in those applications, and I think this really tells a lot about it. So, now we're going right into the instruction and tutorial how we can use these uh, apps uh, and how we're going to do all that we are going to do. And again, I'm going to repeat, you won't need any computer and you won't need any root rights that usually were required in order to modify our system applications. So now the very first is we go into Shizuku. So we're going to Shizuku and we need to press pairing. So we here we see here some steps. So as you can see, one, two, and three. So the first, enter developer options and go into wireless debugging. So let's go into developer options. Just swipe a little bit and you will see wireless debugging. So we need to uh, just switch this on wireless debugging allow, and then second step we go into wireless debugging so uh you uh you can just switch this on and off but you also can just go inside the settings of this setting so next we're gonna just press on pair device with pairing code so yeah as you can see we have uh we need to memorize this one and as you can see in this notification pairing service found so enter pairing code so as you can see we need to press on here to enter and enter this code so 936 936 and what was the last uh 792 so we need to actually memorize and turn this on and 792 then press send. So looking what's what happened. So now we are going back into this application and turning back and we need to press start. So you will see this starter. So as you can see closed in three seconds so you don't need to freak out about it. And as you can see we hear, we see here pairing successful and that means that we we've done everything right. So next that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Icebox. So you will see here, welcome to Icebox and save battery. So this is really cool. So now when you see this menu screen, you just need to go into more and choose our already well-known Shizuku manager. We press on here and allow. You will need to reauthorize Shizuku manager every time after reboot. So as you can see, this is pretty uh, very important information for us, so we agree that we understood it. And as you can see, we finally can modify our system and not only applications. So we're going to apps, and as you can see, we have here applications and system. So basically, this is your 
uh, application due downloaded on your phone and system applications is system application so you can read this warning free system apps may break your device due at your own risk so i really highly suggest you to uh, if you're not really sure about some of these services or system applications that you're going to freeze or uninstall i suggest you going into internet and is it just uh, searching and checking uh, whether it's good or not uh, so do you be sure that you won't break uh, or just put your phone into some risk so i press got it and a really good reminder that we have here some uh, sorting item it's very useful also so now i'm going to show you the about exact uh, apps that i chosen so radio and tips so now we can just search here for our applications or just use our search bar. So now I'm gonna just swipe a little bit. Maybe I will find it pretty fast. Who knows? So basically when you see uh, these white backgrounds and this kind of uh, frozen background, that means that this application is currently in, in the frozen state. So as you can see Facebook, I really highly suggest you to uh, freeze your Facebook because if if you don't use it, of course, because this setting really drains your battery if you don't use it, actually, and you don't actually need it. So now we're going to just, I think, just search for a radio. Radio, and as you can see, what we need to do here, you, you just need to press on check mark so in order to this get or froze or just press on it and press freeze and after this your uh, app will be frozen so next is going to be tips okay we're going to press also freeze and when we go back onto our home screen you'll see that these apps actually disappeared and that means that these applications just stopped working whatsoever and they will not ever again drain your battery or slow down your phone so this is a very very cool setting of these two very amazing application which i really recommend you to use in order to make using your phone much much better and effective so i hope that this video was really helpful for you if you enjoyed this please share it with your friends subscribe hit the bell button and like this video